on this video we're going to uh, remove a bat valve blade on the in feed side of the fusion it's different than any other uh, we have some restrictions here with the frame and allowing to pull this out normally we would just unscrew these clamps and it would just pull straight out but because we do have this uh, frame obscuring it we're going to need to just do something a little different with this one than we would with with some of the others. Now this is a fusion that we're currently in the middle of building and I wanted to use it because um, I can it's exposed and we can see the whole thing. Normally we would be doing this from the inside of the chamber uh, with a with the panel on here and an in feed so this would just make it a little simpler. But what we need to do though is we need to be able to draw the blade back into the vat valve to allow this much room to be enough to take it out. So what we need to do at first here is we need to charge the uh, the air intake to open that valve. So we're going to take a air, we're going to plug the air in, we're going to let air into the system which open the blade. Notice we have no blade. I've also re taken these bottom clamp out and I'm going to take the top clamp out and we'll pull this off. Let me readjust the camera then. Okay, now we have the camera readjusted. Just a few things because this is a fusion that's currently being built. There are some uh, wires that would be normally hooked up to this. We would have a cable hooked into here that we would unscrew and unplug. We have airlines coming to the bottom, but we would leave the one on the right side in order to keep our, our blade retracted. And I've already taken the uh, on the bottom vent, or on the bottom clamp, I've taken that off. It looks like this. And I, I have one that's identical at the top on the top of the vat valve here. And right now that's the one we're going to look at. We're going to take that off. And again, everything I would be doing, I would be doing from this side because I can't get to it. There would be a panel here. So we take a number six metric and we take all but one of these screws out. I'm going to leave the one on the upper left side in. Because what I don't want to have happen is have this vat valve fall out on its own. So we want to leave one screw in. Now when I take this last screw I want to be careful that I'm holding this vat valve. So I'm going to back this camera out a little bit so you can see what I'm talking about. I want you to see what I'm doing with my left hand here grabbing hold and holding it firm as I take this last screw out. We need to make sure we're holding this firm and up against this. We don't want any movement. Now we very very carefully pull straight back you might want to rock it just a little bit and then we have to tilt it in this way and now that's how you remove the vat valve installing it the same thing I'm just going to do this everything just backwards we want to make sure that our blade is retracted that means we got a charge of air to the right side of the vat valve here if you were to charge this side, it would push the blade this way. You charge this side, it will hold the blade this way. Very important when you're putting this in is to put it straight in. We do not want to hit this blade on anything or, or score the O-ring. It's a bonded O-ring, kind of spendy to have replaced. So again, we have to very carefully from this and sort of put it in sideways and then roll it around. And make sure that your holes are lining up. That'll let you know that you're putting it on correctly. And you'll feel it start to go into the, the slot. But it has to go straight in. You can't put the top in or the bottom in. It has to go straight in. Once you see these two blocks come together here, then you know that you're in far enough to then put your block back in here. This is a, a clamp, a place where a clamp would go. And we put that on there. We'll be, we want to put that on the outside here. So it's on this side. Because this could go in either way. 
We just want this clamp guy to be on the outside. And again, I am holding this vat valve up very firmly with my thumb on the back. Once you get this clamp snug, you can go ahead and let go of the, of the valve. It can't go anywhere. At this point, I can let go. It's on there pretty firm. It will allow you to put the other screws in the other clamp in at the bottom. Reattach your cables, reattach the uh, airlines, and you're good to go.